Okay, folks, I see people are arriving now. So let's go ahead and get started with the webinar. Before we get started, let's just uh, talk about a couple of little housekeeping tips. Um, everybody is currently in listen-only mode. But if questions come up during the presentation, uh, I'm just going to ask you guys to jot them down in the bottom right-hand corner in that little chat window that you will see on your screen. Uh, at the end of the presentation, we'll try and address any questions that may be uh, in that chat window. On the last slide of the presentation, I will also have our contact information for our support group. I'll have our email address and our phone number. So if your question you think could be better explained over the phone, then uh, just wait till the end of the presentation and then you can take down that number or that email address and then you can contact our support group. Please go ahead, if you do send an email to us, um, just title it SolidWorks Manage Webinar and then that way I can keep an eye on the support queue and if I see anything drop in there, I can go ahead and pick it up and uh, try and help you that way. Okay, so before we get started, uh, if I could just take a few moments to introduce myself. I am Chris Souter with MLC CAD Systems. I've been with MLC now for 10 years. I come to MLC with a wide range of manufacturing experience and my specialities for MLC CAD Systems are data management and design automation. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, SolidWorks Manage. Before we get there, let's just talk a little bit about yourselves as well. Um, as your business grows, you create a lot of data. Now, with all that growth in data also comes a lot of complexity within your organization. For a while now, we've had the data side of things nailed down with SolidWorks PDM. But until now, we didn't really have much to help with the complexity. Now SolidWorks manages here, we can help tame that complexity within your organization. Over the next 30 minutes, we're going to review these four major topics. Um, and these are four major elements of SolidWorks Manage. We have dashboards, project management, bill of materials and records, and we also have process management. Now let's face it, one of the biggest challenges of any product launch for any organization is determining the, the status of the project and finding out are tasks completed, are we behind schedule, at any given phase. The nice thing about SolidWorks Manage is information like this can present, be presented in an easy to understand dashboard. And this dashboard can be tailored not only to display the critical information you need, but also present the right information at the right time to the right people. Real-time reporting can be tailored per user and it can display a data in a variety of different chart styles. So you can help everyone make sense and understand the complex data um, within your organization and, and what's important to them. Users can even have more than one dashboard for displaying project information, project management status, or file and record detail. And uh, the data on the dashboards themselves doesn't have to be just limited to SOLIDWORKS managed data. This dashboard here could be connected to other databases and other information systems that you have in your organization. So the nice thing about this is SOLIDWORKS Manage is it's going to give you real time insight and allow you to make decisions quickly and accurately. Next, let's look at project management. Now, managing projects typically involves multiple disconnected tools, such as email, Microsoft Project, Excel. Um, you may have some other tools knocking around your organization that you use for project management. And they're all good tools, but the problem we have with this is they're not connected and they're, they're not connected to the documents or the CAD data um, for that project. As we review the project management capabilities in SOLIDWORKS Manage, just consider how this compares to your current process today. So the first thing we'll do is we'll review my dashboard. And then we'll go straight over to the projects area. And he, from here, we can see my list of projects. I can get a deeper understanding of the process status of each, and I can quickly consume product details through the preview tabs at the bottom. 
projects act as a container uh, to pull together all the supporting and related information about the project. Project Gantt charts can be created quickly using templates. And these can have key stages and milestones for all your processes that are already defined. Now, once created, timelines can easily be modified with a simple drag and drop. And you can assign resources and tasks all in the same area. Now, for this design here, we've determined that additional testing will be required. Let's add a few notes to the task and allocate what we anticipate the needed hours. We'll attach both the test specification and the design documents. In the past, there'd be no way to do this because our projects were, were not connected to our design documents. Now, because SolidWorks Manage is an extension of SolidWorks PDM Pro, it's now easy to attach both document records from PDM. We'll assign the appropriate resources to the task and we're done. And that's just how easy it is. The product integration extends even further when it's time to ensure we have a complete bill of materials. Inside our project, we can leverage the existing mechanical bill of materials from PDM Pro. As we capture those additional items like tooling, electrical components, and packaging, we'll get deeper into bill of materials in just a moment. To track the status of our projects, project stages can be modified by updating the percentage complete on the stage. The team can even select project tasks they're working on and log time directly against the project itself. This provides a real powerful way of getting an actual value for time spent compared to estimated time. And it also ensures that you have visibility to whether the project is still on track and, uh, and it's gonna make the delivery schedule. Now finally, it's important to be able to track issues as they might arise as well as mitigate any risks that are identified. Now, both are clearly captured in SOLIDWORKS Manage and connected to the project where the whole team has visibility to review and act if needed. With the integrated project management connected to your CAD data, with user tasks and time tracking, you're gonna be able to stay ahead of schedule. Okay, next we'll take a look at bill of materials. Now, as you know, SOLIDWORKS PDM is a great tool for capturing the engineering bomb. But once the design is complete, there's still work to be done, you know, beyond the parts list. We need to add items with no CAD data, and we've got to create creations, uh, variations based on our customer requirements, or even regional component availability. Now, trying to do this with spreadsheet or manual edits to CAD bombs can introduce errors, and it also could limit the ability to keep track of where everything is used. Now, watch how much can be done with bill of materials in SOLIDWORKS Manage. This bench assembly needs seat belts. Now, the seat belts themselves are purchased items with no CAD data. Now, these must be selected by our safety department. SOLIDWORKS Manage allows that department to find existing records. And it allows them to choose the correct part by reviewing the related documentation. 
They can even add that part to the bill of materials without any manual entry or engineering resource required. SolidWorks Manage expands the bomb beyond the engineering process by accounting for all items necessary for delivery. Now, marketing wants a label with our logo on the bench seat. With SolidWorks Manage, they create the record for the label and they add it to the bill of materials. Then they initiate the task to notify the graphics team to get this started, uh, to get started on the artwork. Now, this one example is, is just how easy SolidWorks Manage allows cross-functional collaboration on the bomb. By the way, records do not have to be files. They can represent materials, purchased items, and others. Meanwhile, our project manager kicks off another task. This time, our document te documentation team, uh, they need to localize the assembly instructions into English and German. Using SOLIDWORKS Manage, the tasks roll up to the bomb showing the manager all the work that's been done to finalize the complete bomb. To accommodate multiple languages, the documentation team creates two bomb variants where they can then attach the proper localized instructions. Now this would be very challenging to, to achieve if you were only working with a CAD bomb. With the, with the improvement of multiple departments, our non-CAD items and the logo artwork have been accounted for. The localization variants of the assembly instructions are complete. The project manager can now approve the final cushion bombs, clearing the way for production. Now more about processes in just a moment. So the nice thing is, with SolidWorks Manage, your bill of materials will become more than just an engineering parts list. It becomes a collaborative and complete record of everything needed to deliver an end product, whether made of documents, CAD files, or just records. Next, we're gonna take a look at process management. All right, now the only one constant thing in life is change. And as engineers, we know all about change. So for many of us, SolidWorks PDM helps control change through workflows and through uh, versions of files. But at times, those workflows don't provide the flexibility or visibility needed for your complete change process. I need to start a change order that follows my business process on several change requests rather than hoping someone reads an email and takes action. I need to assign tasks to people in my engineering team. So first, SolidWorks Manage is directly connected to your PDM. SolidWorks PDM shows me where the part is used in assemblies and drawings. And now with SolidWorks Manage, I have the, vis the visibility to use in bill of materials, projects, and several engineering change requests. I'm ready to start an engineering change process to implement the approved requests. To make it easy, I'll launch the new change process directly from PDM. My change process requires specific input from the creator to make sure that nothing gets missed. Stages in the process can be assigned to specific, pe specific people. For example, I'd like my engineering manager, Dave, to give the change order an initial review. When Dave looks over the process, he needs to reassign the initial review to someone else. He can do it. Now, tasks are everywhere in SolidWorks Manager including processes. To make sure everything gets finished on time, I'll create a new task and assign it to Mike. 
I can explain exactly what needs to be done and I can even block out the hours I expect he needs to complete this task. Now SolidWorks Manage reminds users through task lists. So when Mike logs in, he'll immediately see his to-do list of tasks. He can even display on a calendar so Mike knows when to work on each item. Now from there, the process continues through necessary steps that have been configured for my business needs, whether simple or even complex. To make it easy, everyone involved has visibility to the overall process. And everybody can see who's responsible for each of the, the steps and also the next step in the process. My change process can even kick off subprojects to make sure that the change is implemented in the related bill of materials and pushed to our ERP system. I can run a quick report of the change at any time. There's no need to fill out a document since everything was gathered along the way. SolidWorks Manage can automatically send the same report to anyone to make sure nothing gets missed. When you need comprehensive process control with tasks, alternate approvers, parallel activities and reports, SolidWorks Manage is there to help keep constant control of that constant change and help you achieve repeatable execution. So in summary, through SOLIDWORKS managed dashboard, dashboards, project management, bill of materials and records, and process management, you and your team will be able to tame your data complexity. Gain real-time insight, stay ahead of schedule, collaborate on complete product bombs, and execute processes with pre pre repeatable precision. Okay, hey guys, I want to thank you for your time today. Thank you for attending this webinar. And as I mentioned at the beginning, here is our contact information. If you do wish to contact us with additional questions, um, you will see our, our support email address right here, solidworksupport at mlc-cad.com. Like I said, if you can just title the, uh, the email with uh, SolidWorks Manage Webinar, I will keep an eye on that uh, support queue, and I'll try and get a hold of those cases for you. And then if you want to talk directly, you can call this number 800-364-1652, phone option 8, and uh, you can try and speak to somebody who is on support. They, uh, they may pass you over to me, so if you, uh, if you can be patient and uh, uh, just wait for me until I'm available, I will try and call you back if uh, that person cannot answer your questions. So again, thanks for attending this webinar. I really hope you guys got something out of this and you have a better understanding of SolidWorks Manage.